Hi guys, this is Jess with Coach Up with another weekly workout. Today we're going to be doing a quick yoga flow to work out your lower body. All right, we'll start in downward facing dog. Toes curled under, hips go up and back towards where the wall meets the ceiling. Ears working towards your biceps. And we'll start by inhaling your right leg into the air, toes pointed straight down, bringing your knee into your chest and gently stepping it between your hands. Back heel spins down outside of the foot, is glued to the mat, and inhale your arms up. You're working our hips to be square to the front of the room. Most of our bodies won't get all the way to the front and that's okay, but that's where you're working your alignment towards. Inhale your arms up as you sink deeper into the lunge. Take your hands, clasp them behind your back and walk your knuckles down your hamstring. Gaze can come up. And we'll bow forward for humble warrior. Your shoulders are to the inside of your knee. Core is strong here to hold yourself up. You'll remain here for about five breaths, after which you use an inhale to pick yourself all the way back up, and an exhale to open up to warrior two. Flip the front palm, inhale to reverse your warrior, and on your exhale, come into side angle. There are a few options here. You can either rest your arm on your quad like a shelf. Your hand can come all the way down to the mat. Your arm reaching up into the air. There's a half bind option here if you wanna take your hand behind your back. And there's also a full bind option here as well. Taking care to make sure that your chest is still open to the side wall. From here, you can release everything down to the mat and vinyasa your way back through to downward facing dog. We'll move through the left side a little bit faster. So inhaling your left leg into the air, knee to chest, step it down, warrior one. Hands clasp at the base of your spine, walk them down your hamstring and bow, humble warrior. Moving through your breath here, an inhale takes you all the way up back to one, to open to two, your inhale reverses you, and your exhale takes you to your version of side angle. And all the way back through, downward facing dog. Take your inhale here, and on your exhale, completely empty everything out. Look to the front of your mat and step or jump your feet to your hands. Inhale halfway, and exhale fold. Inhale to a chair pose, Utkatasana. In chair pose, you wanna make sure that your hips are sitting back, your knees are over your ankles, your ways and your heels, and all 10 toes theoretically could come up. Take your hands into your chest, put all the weight into your right foot, and come up high on those left toes. With control, we'll pick that left foot up, karate kid style, and shoot it back for warrior three with prayer hands. You're working your body to be as close to a T here as possible your gaze is straight down on the mat. And taking about five breaths here. With control, bend into your standing leg and meet me in crescent lunge. It's okay if you wobble here a bit. It's a little bit of a shaky transition. Perhaps you need to tap your knee down to get your balance, that's okay. And we'll come back up in crescent lunge, similar to our warrior series, but with that back heel up off the mat. We'll take a few lunges here, dropping low that knee to a hover, and then pushing up just to fire up the pose a bit, make it a little bit more dynamic with some movement. You can take about five to eight dips here for taking one final inhale and meeting me back in chair pose. 
So we're staying low the entire time to really make sure that lower body is engaged. We'll flow through the other side a little bit quicker. So hands come to heart center, weight goes into that left foot, come up on your right ball of your foot, and with control, meet me in warrior three. Again, working your body to be in a T or as close to that position as possible. Bend into that front knee, meet me in crescent lunge. Again, taking your time to set yourself up. Lower the knee to a hover and push through. Using your breath here to flow through this dynamic movement. After you take your five to eight dips, inhale to find some space between your vertebrae and your ribs, and hands come all the way down to the mat, and vinyasa your way through, back to downward facing dog.